Hello, so today we received the AU702A for some demonstration, testing, review, and thoughts, which I'll be doing over the weekend. But for right now, we're just going to do a quick unboxing of the actual station itself. It comes with your dual port repairing system instruction manual and a support sheet for US support from uh, SRA soldering products. That's the bad side. In the box, we also have <clears throat> the pair of tweezers, which is the T007 model. And then we have the soldering iron, which is the B003A one of the typical soldering irons and it has a soldering tip pre-installed that comes with the soldering iron is in nine additional variety of different tips they give you a very nice selection of tips actually um, all slightly different too which is really nice I do like that it also comes with something I haven't played with uh, one of their new tweezer soldering tips they actually came out with a different set of tips for the tweezer soldering iron, so I definitely want to give that a try as well. We have the IC popper and the spare IC popper spring that it came with. The power cord. The tip alignment tool for the soldering iron tip. And part of your soldering iron station, which needs to be assembled here. And then we have a B1002A, which is a ceramic uh, heating core for the soldering iron for the model B003A. Uh, so they actually give you a separate spare ceramic iron for soldering iron, which is really nice. Let's go ahead and put this stuff back in the box. Move this out, I have a feeling the rest of that's going to come shortly. Alignment tool. Okay. Now we'll set this aside. And when I said shortly, I wasn't kidding on that. There it is. The rest of the soldering iron station. I actually have a very nice soldering iron station. I mean, it, you have the option to put this on left or right, or not put it on at all if you don't prefer the bigger rolls of solder. Um, it comes with a nice heavy duty rubber footing on that side so be, be sure of which way you install this. You always want the foot to go on the outside away from the station. So if, to the left or to the far right if you put it on this side of the station. And the tweezer holders which will mount onto it like so. And of course then you have your tray with your sponge, your desoldering dish. Uh, there's a bracket in here that you can actually put the sol desoldering tip dish there and, and actually use the bracket to take the tray off to the left or the right side as well. So like I said, there's a lot of different options in putting it together. Uh, sometimes they don't cover all the different options and different ways to put it together. But I'm going to do a separate video on that, so I do cover that. Okay, now we'll put this back in the bag. Have our soldering station itself. Nice and all wrapped up here. There we go. So this is again the dual 702A plus what they call their dual repairing station and it's independent controls for your two soldering irons which you can have the standard soldering iron or the tweezers running it has sleep timers for each individual channel for each one, I believe, um, as well as an independent calibration setting for the regular soldering iron tip, which I'll go over all those settings after I use it over the weekend. Come back with my thoughts and review on it. Um, very solid construction. 
good weight to it. Um, <clears throat> we have our standard three prong plug in the back, fused, power switch, ROHS compliant, nice sturdy handle on it. I don't hear anything rattling inside, that's always a good sign. And I'm going to enjoy testing it. I have a few projects lined up for this weekend, so we definitely have things to test it on. And I'll come back over the weekend with a final thoughts video. Thanks for watching.